Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Spa Babies, presented by Spendthrift Farm. I'm Dan Ilman, taking a look at the Spa Baby race for Saturday, September the 5th at Saratoga. Let's throw up the field for race number seven. We're going to kick off the uh, jackpot pick six with this maiden special weight, a mile and a 16th on the inner turf for two-year-olds. It is an overflow field, Spendthrift Super Stallion into mischief, represented by one of the two main track only horses in the race, the number 11. 11 Demon. There are some really nice pedigrees in here. A couple of horses that have started already, some expensive purchases, and some top barns. You really can't ask for anything more on a Woodward and Jim Dandy Saturday at the spa. Let's take a look at the field, beginning with the number one, Restored Order. This horse has experience. Two sprint starts for trainer Todd Pletcher. He is a son of first crop stallion Frosted. The jury's still out as to how the Frosteds will do on the turf. Restored Order has plenty of pedigree and an active pedigree it is. Not only is Restored Order a half-sibling to the graded stakes-placed router Derlou, the stakes-placed sprinter smartly agree, but this dam is a half to Vexatious, who just won the personal ensign on dirt at Saratoga and will be taking on Monomoy Girl in the La Trienne on Saturday at Churchill Downs. This horse certainly has a distance-oriented pedigree, has a little bit of speed. The inside post for Todd Pletcher should work out a good trip under a Rad Ortiz. The number two is Fulco. This is a son of Warfront with a beautiful turf pedigree. The dam stakes placed on the lawn in France. The third dam, Wandering Star, won the E.P. Taylor at Woodbine. This was sprinted first time out for Shug McGay. He Shug often gives these two-year-olds a start or two. Fulco didn't break very well and didn't run very well, but now gets blinkers and stretches out. And I would expect substantial improvement in his second lifetime outing. One of the more intriguing entrants in this race is the number three, Mo Heat. He is a son of first crop stallion outwork who's gotten off to a really good start with his first time turf runners. I believe he's two for five. Mo Heat is a half to Southwestern Heat and Elusive Heat, both fast sprinters. And that's not a surprise because the damn extra heat, I believe, won 26 sprints, was just a remarkable sprinter in her day, a grade one winner. And it's fascinating to me that George Weaver has a son of the great extra heat debuting going long on the turf now weaver's much smarter than i am these workouts look very sharp i would expect mohit to be pretty quick out of there the four is hardison and hardison is by the sensational stallion Tappet, who wins 14 percent with juvenile debut runners 11 percent with first time turf runners the damn octave was his hickory as they come, a multiple grade one stakes winner on the dirt. And while there is dirt pedigree, tap it over Octave. Octave has fold a group two stakes place turf sprinter overseas. So there's a little bit of turf as well. I do wonder if Bill Mott is debuting this horse because he knows that Hardison wants distance. And really the only way to get distance into your two-year-old first time starters at Saratoga is to run them on the turf. I'll take a wait and see approach. The number five is World Cruiser going out for Christophe Clement, a $150,000 yearling buyback by the by the solid 9% stallion hard spun. The dam's a half the promising run. It was a multiple grade two stakes winner on the turf. The second dam was a grade one stakes winner in Brazil. This horse has a solid pedigree. Clement's having a phenomenal year. And I think the board is really going to tell the story. Dylan Davis takes the mount. American Diamond is the number six by triple crown winner, American Pharaoh, who also won the Breeders' Cup Classic. And as we take a look at American Diamond, Diamond's entry card. American Pharaoh has done very, very well with his turf runners. And this dam has already thrown stakes place turf router Fleming. This is the family of the Saratoga legend, the Sultan of Saratoga, four star Dave and four stars all star, who I believe was the first North American trained horse to win a classic race overseas when he won the Irish 2000 guineas. It's a phenomenal pedigree. Mark Cassie trains. This horse seems to be picking it up on the work tab recently. The number seven is Sifting Sands, and we urge you to take a look at Mike Welsh's workout report for all Saratoga races, but especially these two-year-olds. It looks as if Sifting Sands has been working in company with another Chad Brown train runner named Public Sector, who won his debut the other day with a 76 buyer speed figure. Sifting Sands sold for $645,000 overseas as a yearling, and why not? Being a half to Legatissimo, a multiple group one stakes winner 
over there. The damselful sister to fame and glory, a multiple group one stake winner. This is just a tremendous turf family. The sire Dubawi is an internationally renowned stallion. Sifting sands should run well. If you believe in experience, Lease has two turns experience on the turf, and Bill Mott's horses really seem to improve after a race or two. Lease did run great in his debut, but he also didn't break very well. The dam won four turf races. The fourth dam showed some class and precocity, being a multiple grade one stakes winner at two. That one was named Tapiano. Lease is going to have to improve a little bit, but like the number two in here, the McGahey trained Folco, I would think Lease is going to improve. The horse they're all going to have to beat is the number nine, Hidden Enemy, a son of the absolutely legendary stallion Galileo, a $150,000 yearling. The dam was a grade one stake winner routing on synthetic at Keeneland and is a half to Festival of Light who got really, really good going long in Dubai. The dam's also a half to Arch, whose grade one win came on dirt in the Super Derby, but Arch has proven to be a really excellent stallion. Hidden Enemy ran once at Saratoga already. It was a useful fourth with a rock solid 70 buyer speed figure. And if he takes a step forward, like most Steve Asmussen trained horses do, he's going to be tough to beat. Completing the field is the 10 River Redemption. And it's always great to see Nick Zito's name in the entries, especially on a Kentucky Derby Saturday. And River Redemption's got a big turf pedigree, a $140,000 yearling by Pioneer of the Nile, the dam of full to group winners Gustav Klimt and wonderfully overseas. River Redemption, few gaps in the work tab to be cautious of, outside post position. Nick usually doesn't win first time out. Here's a formulator fact to take with several grains of salt because River Redemption is going to be a good price. One for 23 for Zito over the past five years with two-year-olds on turf. We take a look at my top selections in this race. I respect the nine hidden enemy. I think the seven sifting sands is going to be ready first time out for Chad Brown. These works look strong. Again, I urge you to check out Mike Welsh's clocker report and see what he has to say, but I'm going to go with sifting sands, the number seven over the experienced runner, the number nine hidden enemy, maybe Mo heat, the extra heat baby can show some speed and hang on for a piece. Seven, nine, three, 10 for me in the spa baby race on Saturday. It's race number seven and our coverage is presented by Spendthrift Farm.